what's going on guys i'm all bundled up it's the middle of june and it's like 40 degrees out it's actually warmed up really quick though but we're out here at the beautiful cisco lake just got back from the classic and uh got a day here gonna go do some fishing i got to turn around here sunday so first thing i'm gonna do is try to find some smallmouth because i know uh, mixed bags usually win early in the year and i can never seem to i mean i've never really looked too hard but so you can find some smallmouth in the morning and then probably gonna go uh you know flip around the weed bed most of the rest of the day i definitely want to catch them flipping but i have a feeling the drop shot will catch them better but uh yeah we're just gonna go have some fun and see what happens It's a baby. Let me spit something. That was a baby smallmouth. That's kind of funny. All right, bro. What'd you spit up? Get a little baby. Baby smallmouth. That's what he spit up. It's like a shad shaped worm to me. Another baby smallmouth, I think. Ooh, a little bit bigger smallmouth. Found a school of small ones, there's one with them. Third, there's like four with them. Get up here, you feisty little guy. You're not that big. You're not that big, dude. Ooh, my bad. I mean, it's a keeper. To keep your small mouth, but he's not that big. Sorry, bro. If I gave you brain damage, he's like a pound and a half. Found the smallies randomly, little ones. Found the little smallies. Here. But there's a big one with them. Got me a big largy. Oh yeah, that's a stud largy. Right off the sweet butter. Right that's a stud largy. That's a four rounder. Trunker getting fat again. Hey, he's probably three and a half, but that's good. Little drop shot fish. Another one. Found a pot of them. Look, I have it. Found a pot of them. Maybe the sun just had to get up, warm the water up a little bit. I mean, this is the best weeds I've found. I've been around a little bit today. 
It's the only milfoil I've been able to find. It's right through this stretch and it's really good milfoil. So we're probably gonna be fishing through here tournament the Feels like a good one. Out in this weed bed finally. Oh yeah, that's a stud. Yep. That's what we need Sunday. There's another one with it. They're all grouped up right now. Post spawn. They're all grouped up. That was on a different worm too. I just switched to it. Maybe they want this worm. It's a good fish. Not giant, but... Solid one. Three, three and a half maybe. I'll take five like him Sunday with a... Or four like him with a kicker. Alright. Switched up worm, got bit. I think the bite's picking up as the day's going on. I think it was just so cold last night that they didn't really want to bite this morning. It's kind of the sense I'm getting. I think I just got to go through here and fish really slow. I mean, it's team tournament, so I'm my buddy. I think if we just each throw on a different drop shot bait and just pound this whole area slow all day, I mean, we'll probably catch 17 pounds. Then it's just a matter of getting a couple of kicker bites. Oh, he came back for it. He must be little. Oh, that's a, <laughs> he's just a dink. It's a tiny bass. It's a future five pounder. Healthy little guy. Healthy little bugger. In this room. Okay, he woke up. <laughs> Maybe they just wanted this worm. Little guy.
I'm from on the beam. I mean, it's not going to make it. It's not going to make it. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching that video. I know it's been a minute, I do apologize for that. Just been stupid busy, been trying to learn a new editing software the last few days, so finally got this video out to you guys. This was the first, one of the first tournaments I fished this year, the CNY, fished with my buddy Corey. We ended up finishing like 15th out of 25 or 27 or so. Not a great finish, but the weights were really stacked. We had like right around 13, and I think like between where we finished the 15th and 5th, it was like a pound separating it. So the weights are really close. We just never got any kicker bites. And and this one, I mean, you saw the practice at the beginning. I think the practice kind of hurt me a little bit because I should have just started in that weed patch that I knew looked better, even though I only got one bite in it. I think there was bigger fish there. That's where we ended up catching all our bigger fish for the most part. Um, that weed bed in the middle, I thought would be better a lot of those good weeds out there actually died just in a two day period. It, it always amazes me how fast these lakes change and I, I, I'm getting better. I need to still improve on keeping an open mind, making you know quick decisions and just going to where I think the fish are in the moment, not where I caught them in previous days. So it's building your instincts and I'm getting better at it. But this was a good example of a tournament where I probably should have noticed that the weeds weren't as good out there and made adjustments a little bit quicker but still a really fun day camera died at the end so we didn't get all the fish catches on camera and Corey did come in clutch with a big one at the end probably our biggest of the day that wasn't on camera shout out to him it was a fun day um give me a like comment what you liked about this video give me a subscribe and we'll see you guys next time